All right, no cuts. We're all gonna do this in one take. One take? Yep. Well, we have to do it like. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome back to our men. My oh, fuck. <laughs> Welcome back to Our Mind Center, guys. My name is Damien. I'm Alex. We make short films and we review movies. Today, we are going to review a movie that we saw last night. And my mm. God, were we so excited to see this movie. Wonder Woman. Alex, what's it about? Well, Wonder Woman is a DC superhero. And this is kind of an origin story of her. So we kind of get to see how she became the superhero Wonder Woman. A little bit of her background before she was part of the Justice League. Because that movie is coming out later this year. And so before that happens, they wanted to get a little bit more of a background to another one of the Trinity. Yeah, so this, this movie starts current day, and then we get a whole movie of one big flashback set during World War I. And my god, this movie's it, awesome. It's fantastic. It's, 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 it's great. <laughs> it is the DC movie that I think a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time. They show her as a little kid, and the little girl actress who plays her is really cute, and they make Diana really likable at such a young age. You're like, mm -hmm. ah, she's just adventurous, and she's cool. Yeah. And that transfers so well when Gal Gadot comes in as the current Wonder Woman that we're going to see for the rest of the movie. She's just so fun, and she's adventurous, and it makes you like her even more because you're like, yeah, go do that. Like, yes, <laughs> steal that sword. And... All that stuff is, is so much fun. She is just so good as Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. She kind of is like a fish out of water when she comes into the world that which we is, know of. Which is where most of the comedy Where comedy most of the comedy is. It, which, like, she's like a fish out of water in a, in a world of big buildings. Thankfully, and... there is comedy in this movie. It, oh, yeah. It, well, it works very well, mostly based on what Alex was saying. that It is a lot of fish out of water stuff. Like She doesn't know like why women work. But... Honestly, it's stuff that I really haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. Even though tons of movies are like, this character comes to the States. Well, not the States, but London. Comes to where we all live, and she doesn't know anything, why people do this. But it's such, like, current stuff. Like, she doesn't know why women wear clothes, and she's like, why, well, is that what women wear into battle? Mm -hmm. And the girl's like, well, we don't really, you know, go don't into that. battle. <laughs> and I'm not afraid for a bit of fisticuffs. <laughs> The occasion it, it just all works, and it somehow it's stuff I haven't seen before. This movie does a very good job of balancing the comedy and lightheartedness that is like Wonder Woman coming into our world and her dealing with the war that we're in the midst of, yeah. dealing with the death and the, all of the bad things that are coming of this war. Yeah, and, and it's really cool seeing kind of her deal with those things. And that's the best situations. thing about it, about it, because there's like a, there's a, without sounding like sappy or anything like that, there's a message to this movie. Mm -hmm. Whenever they show the World War I scenes and like the death and like stuff like that, it's all like how Wonder Woman sees it and how she's like so confused on how like men can do this to each other and like how humans can fight one another. And it's just, it's so meaningful. So whenever she has her superhero moment, which you see in the trailer, yeah, the one where she's walking through the field and she's blocking the bullets, on yeah, no man's land. It it is one of the, it, it's just it's so great to watch. It's one of the best superhero moments. Ah! The, well, the action is incredible. So cool. I think I think for me, when I was going into, because I had heard a couple people say how the No Man's Land scene was like the, one of the best mm -hmm. action se sequences in a superhero movie yet, or along those lines. But my favorite part about it was how real it was. Yeah, it felt like you were in No Man's Land. Like it felt like that, and they they immediately get you into this. Like, war with no end and no yeah. winning. There's no positive side of this. And then she comes in and it's it's just this great superhero yeah. moment for Wonder Woman. And a great introduction to her in our yeah. world. Yeah, and it's a, it's, a great, it's a great moment for, like, almost everybody in the movie at the time. Because, like, her and Chris Pine are obviously together and they bring a team with them. Like, a ragtag team yeah. of, like, Chris Pine's buddies. And... In that scene where they do the No Man's Land scene, Wonder Woman has her superhero moment, but then so does all, so do all the soldiers. Like, even yeah. nameless people you don't know, you can see them, like, rallying behind Wonder Woman, and it gets you excited, and then Chris Pine is like, yeah, let's go! And you're like, yes! They, like, Wonder Woman isn't doing yeah. this for herself. 
She is doing this so that we can win the war. So that Chris Pine, his buddies, and mm -hmm. us can win this war against the Germans. The two main characters in it, played by Chris Pine and uh, Gal, uh, Gadot. Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor. Mm -hmm. they, their, their, their chemistry is beautiful. It makes this movie. It, it, it makes it relatable. You feel it the entire yeah. time. It's just a good movie with good messages and... It reminds me a lot of like an 80s superhero movie where they didn't worry about, oh, okay, like we had an action world scene. Yeah. Oh, we had an action scene. We got to hurry up and get to the next yeah. one. The pacing in this movie is a lot just like a movie. It, I don't and think I was bored once very, because the things that happen, the things that happen in between there are necessary. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to care about Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor and their relationship together, you have to have scenes where it's just quiet and it's just them together and they can talk. And normally in some movies, the dialogue is just bad, or it's just... Or it just gets boring. Blah. Yeah, yeah, you're like, I've, I've seen all this before. The dialogue that they have is much more than some witty, like, oh, I like you, you like me stuff. It's very, like, like who you are as yeah. a human being and why they bond together. That way, when the end of this movie comes around, you're just, you're along for you're the emotional it. ride yeah. 100%. Every time they try to make an emotional moment... You're there. I don't even I, think they're trying at that point. It's just I like almost, I almost cried a couple times. A little bit, yeah. You you definitely choke up. She has been saying her last name wrong. She doesn't pronounce it in the French way. She pronounces it in the Gal Gadot. Yeah, Israel way, which you do pronounce the T. Oh, that's that's fine. That's whatever. Gal Gadot. It's with a short O and you in a hard T. So the O Gadot. is short, but the T is like very prominent. Mm -hmm. And okay. um, also, this is like the Benedict Cumberbatch of cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, well, I guess we can get into the... the Let's movie. rate this movie! I think this is the best, the best superhero movie I have seen in a very long time. I don't think it's the best that I have ever seen, but my God, is it up there. It's, it's just, it's so good. It's such a good movie. There's a message to it, which a lot of superhero movies don't really have, which is why some of them are just throwaway, like, eh, that's a good superhero movie, but... I'm not really going to leave anything from mm -hmm. it, but thinking about Wonder Woman now makes me like it even more, and I'll probably like it even more tomorrow, and then when I see it again, I will probably like it even more then. So, as of right now, I'm just on such a high of this movie. Any negative I have is really just nitpicky stuff that anybody could be like, oh, well, I didn't like that, and then someone else could be like, oh, well, that happened because of this, I, and I get it, but the, the villain at the end of this movie, sure. He's there, but it's really not it's really not about him. It's about Wonder Woman. It's about Chris Pine, who is so damn good in this movie, it just makes me wish he was in more stuff. I just I, I really, really like this movie. And I can't imagine I won't go perfect. I won't, because I, I have nippy stuff and no movie is perfect. So as of right now, a day after seeing Wonder Woman, and this score might even go higher later on, but as of right now, 9.5 Lassos of Truth. Out of 10. Really love this movie. I think it's so great and one of the best superhero movies I have seen in a very long time. It's so good. And it, it, it flows so perfectly throughout the whole thing. Uh, I'm so attached to Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot, as the character of Wonder Woman. I think she did a fantastic job. And I was one of the people that disagreed with her being mm -hmm. Wonder Woman for so long. And even in Batman v Superman, I wasn't a huge fan, like of her playing that part because I didn't know what to think of it. But seeing her in this, she just did. She did a fantastic job. I'm very excited to see her play that role much more. Um, and the only negatives I have are nitpicky things. Mm -hmm. Things that aren't really that worth giving it a worse rating for. Um, I'm gonna go nine. nine. I'm gonna go Nine Themyscirans out of ten. Ooh, 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 Amazonian women. <laughs> Leave a like, guys, if you liked the video. Please subscribe to our channel. We make short films, and we also review movies. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time. <laughs>